Last year at the premiere in London, <laughs> you told me the one person you wanted to meet was Brad Pitt because of this whole huge, you know, mega success. <laughs> Have you gotten to meet him? No, not yet. Ooh. But, 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 but there is a chance he might be the LA premiere. But if he is there, I might just, I will just be so cringing. If he's heard any of my interviews, he'll probably be like. <laughs> so, first of all, wow, what a difference a year made. <laughs> How has this changed you? Changed me? I hope it hasn't changed me that much. Um, well, I'm on my life, I've been away from home a lot more. Um, I've started to have a Lego model of me. Um, <laughs> just, I try to remain as normal as possible. <laughs> is, is it difficult though when you have a lot of people recognizing you now? Yeah, it's. There are much worse things happening around the world than being recognized, and it's just really flattering, really. It's yeah. okay, though. What's the craziest thing that's happened since the people have really thing. known you and, and you've become so much more famous? Um, did I mention the action figure of me? <laughs> no. Okay, well, there you go. That's pretty, um, that's pretty mad. <laughs> now, do you collect all these things? Do you have the Lego model and the action figure? Do you, you have all serious? of those things at home? No way. No? They don't look anything like me. They're a disgrace. <laughs> <laughs> How do you really feel about that? <laughs> but, I mean, have people, like, chased you down the street for an autograph? Do people yell, Hermione, Hermione? Yeah, stuff like that does happen. People aren't... People don't chase me down the street, but, yeah, people do recognize me. Yeah. And at first, was it uncomfortable? And are you now getting more comfortable with it? Yeah, I, before the film, if, if, if someone had said to me, you know, people are gonna be asking for your autographs, I would be saying, yeah, right, whatever. Um, but now it does happen, it's, it's, it's really flattering, but yeah. Now, the second one is yes. so much. Better. <laughs> I wanted to see what you were gonna say. I was, I think. <laughs> It oh, is. Sorry. You do like I, it better I, than the Yeah, first. same. I think it's so much better than the first one. Really, really good. Bigot. I mean, not being mean to the first one or anything, but it's just an improvement. It's just really good. Yeah. And scarier. Yes, scarier, funnier, better. Darker. Yeah. Yeah, more complicated plot, I think. And that's kind of interesting. Yeah. But not to take anything away from the first one. Exactly. Because it got you where you are today. Exactly. I wouldn't <laughs> be in here. Exactly. <laughs> And, you know, the, the, the nice thing is you get a break now between yeah. shooting two and three. So what's that been like for you? What are you doing with your time? I'm at school. <laughs> it's good. Um, this year I've got a pretty major exam, so I've got lots of work to do. But I'm playing on the hockey team, and I'm doing lots of sports. I'm doing lots of art. Um, hopefully taking art scholarship in the next school. Um, so I'm doing lots of that and just catching up with friends, really. Yeah. Are your friends or anybody at school really treating you differently as a result of this? Um, um, there are a few people who are a bit weird about it, but yeah. mainly it's okay, it's pretty good. <laughs> They're all just curious. It's, yeah. it's, most people are pretty nice about it. Because you and Rupert, I think, share something in common in that you had never, both of you, done anything a movie else. Before. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. I mean, you've done a few school plays, right? <laughs> so this really has changed your life yeah. tremendously. First feature film, pretty cool. Um, yeah. what, what kind of a way to start? So, I mean, that's uh, really cool. Now, I know that you guys have all signed up for three. Yep. Yeah. Are you excited about that? Yes, can't wait. It's my favorite book, and Hermione has a really, really good part in that, so that should be really good. Now, were you a little disappointed that Hermione was kind of out of this one for a huge chunk? Because you were, because you uh, It was kind of half and half. It was kind of like quality, not quantity. They were really good scenes that I had, and, um, Lots of really, really good lines. Yeah. And you have this immense crush on Gilderoy Lockhart. Playing Massive. Kind of exactly. Now, what was it like actually working with him? Oh, he is the nicest guy. He is really down to earth. And I was really nervous about meeting him and everything. He, it, but he wasn't intimidating at all. I found myself talking to him for ages. He's such a nice guy. And he's really, really good. I thought he portrayed Gilderoy Lockhart perfectly. Really cheesy. Really cheesy. To a T. <laughs> <laughs> what piece of the movie do you want to, to keep for yourself for Emma? You know, what prop or costume or...? My wand's pretty cool. I designed it. Really? Yes. Really? On the first film, I had a choice of all these wands. That's cool. That so you want, cool. you want your wand. 
on the first film, you know, like on the chess set, mm -hmm. one of those pieces, I took one of them home with me. Did ya? Yes. It's really cool. Where is it? It's in my bedroom. Oh, that thing looked huge. It's not, not as big as... I don't know. Cr you know when they all fell down and broke and oh, pieces yeah, yeah, yeah. and stuff? Oh, yeah, yeah, Oh, you took a piece snake. of the broken one. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's a nice one. Yeah, it's good. So now, if you were able to cast a spell, mm. Emma, on anybody... On anybody. What would it be, and who would it be um. cast on? Oh, my God, what a hard question. I'd like Richard Harris to get better. Oh. And... Ah, I haven't got a better answer than that one. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.